Hello everyone, this is Robin. Welcome to MyPinkStamper.com. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'm so happy to see you here. I'm going to be sharing a project that I'm making with one of these stamp sets, actually one of the bundles from our new mini catalog. This is July through December 2022. So you might be watching this video later and maybe this is this product is not available, but you can still use it for inspiration. This uh, stamp set is found on page 57 and it's called Bewitching and I'm also using the Coordinating Punch. And since there's no sentiments in this stamp set, I'm using the stamp set that's on the other page called Scary Cute. I'm going to use Halloween Happiness. Now I want to point out also if you've never seen one of our catalogs that there's also ideas in here and we used to call these idea books and catalogs and now we don't, but they still are idea books. There's a lot of different projects for all of the stamp sets and product that they carry. And if you're in the United States, if you order directly from my shopping page, shopmypinksamper.com, and you're new to me, I'll also send you one of these complimentary catalogs in the mail as a gift from me. Okay, so we'll go ahead and jump right in and get started. I'm going to be doing a little bit of heat embossing, and this is just a really fun and bright card, and it's just my, these are my favorite colors for Halloween. Actually, Halloween is my favorite holiday. I know that sounds so bizarre. Um, I love all of the other holidays. I just really like these colors together. I love fall colors, but I'm not using traditional colors for this card, as you'll see shortly. We're going to be using <laughs> Gorgeous Grape and then Melon Mambo. So, so just really bright and happy uh, colors for this card. All right, let's go ahead and start with there is one item that we're going to be die cutting and it's basic black cardstock. And I am going to be using one of our uh, tag dies. This is from Taylor Made Tags. It's a fun die set that has just different sizes for tags. Okay, everything is out of my way, kind of. Pull in a little bit, okay. And I'm gonna pull out my stamp and cut and emboss machine. If you don't have an embossing machine yet, this is great for die cutting, and it's also great for embossing with our embossing folders. Okay, I'm just going to put the black cardstock on here, and I always try to put um, my dies in an, in an angle so they're not hitting the flat, um, you know, they're not going in flat because they cut better when they're at an angle, if you didn't know that little tip for you. Okay, I have these backwards. All right, so I'm going to put this on here and then just run this through. And then I can just set it aside and I'll show you what I did. I made this cute tag that has some stitches on it, if you can see that. Okay, while, that, while we have that out, we'll go ahead and do our heat embossing because that's what we're going to be doing on this tag. Adjust my angle for you, just to make it easy for you to kind of see what we're doing. And I always like to encourage you to create along with me. If you don't have the items that you see that I'm using, pull out something you have and use the colors for inspiration or the theme or the layout. Just get your hands inky and have fun with me. I'm using our basic white uh, I have a lot in here. <laughs> I emboss a lot. So I usually put my little containers, I pour them in a Tupperware or a plastic container. I got this at the dollar store. And then uh, they are in our basics collection. Okay, where is the stamp? So the stamp I'm using is going to say Halloween Happiness. And that one's from the Scary Cute stamp set. And I'm going to be using our Versamark watermark stamp pad. And that keeps uh, the image nice and sticky. And then now I'm going to go ahead and just do it over my Tupperware container and then flick it. And then we have this right here, ready to go. And we also do have in the new holiday catalog, let me see if I can find it well. While we're filming live, we have this that is available again if you, we used to have a tray years and years ago, but I should have pulled this out and showed you guys. 
This comes with the following, and I'll have the name of it with the item code on the screen in case you missed it in the catalog. But it is perfect for doing your uh, powder, putting the powder on your paper and putting it on here, and then you can just, you know, not have a mess. And then there's also a brush here. You can kind of brush it off the paper. And then if you want to hold it while you're embossing, you can hold it with this. And then this is the embossing buddy. This is all one kit, which is awesome. So I should have used it for you and I don't want to film that again. So <laughs> now you've seen it. Okay, now I'm going to be using our heat emboss tool. This is a heat gun. It's not called a heat emboss tool anymore. You can do it from underneath if you'd like. Kind of watch it. Maybe that's a better angle for you to see it melt. Okay, you can see the consistency is starting to change. All right. You can also go on the top if you want. I like to do a nice little set. Okay, now we have this beautiful a tag that's going to actually go on the card, which is super nice. Okay, let me move that out of the way. Alrighty, we're going to be doing the stamping now, and I'm using a, just a scrap piece of our basic white, and I'm going to be stamping this hat first. Now, let me tell you the stamp set this, what this is from again. This is the Bewitching Bundle. And there's also in the bundle, it comes with the punch that we're, I'm going to be using in just a second. It's been a while. I'm a little out of practice for my videos. If you've been following me for a bit, I've been doing uh, these videos for over 15 years. It's almost been 16 years and I flubber my words probably every single time <laughs> I do these videos. Nothing has changed in 16 years. So it's just like I'm new every time. Okay, I'm going to stamp this. This is the gorgeous grape ink, and I've stamped that. Look at how beautiful that is. All right, I'll set that aside. And there are three hats that are in this stamp set. Now I'm going to be using Melon Mambo ink, and I'm going to be stamping this hat. It's more of a solid hat with a um, buckle, buckle belt. Is that the right word? Okay. So we have those on here on this paper. And I'm going to be using this punch, the hat punch, and I'm gonna turn it upside down, open it. And I did these at an angle because I knew that the punch was at an angle. So I'll go ahead and punch this. And just so there's a little white line around it. And I'll punch this one also. And there's little stars. This is a really nice punch. There's a lot of little extras. Well, there's the stars and there's also the belt buckle thing. Whatever you call it. Do you call it a hat belt? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I don't wear a lot of witches hats or hats. There's probably a technical term. So now we're gonna put this cute card together. And I'm using this paper. I believe it's from the 12 by 12. Let me show you the paper really quick. Oh, it's right here. It's called Gingham Cottage. I was going to say Gingham Gardens, but this 12 by 12 paper is a must have. It's a little pricier in the catalog just because you get so much. So I want to show you all that you get. You get all of this 12 by 12 paper front and back. Perfect for scrapbooking. I'm going to be starting scrapbooking again with my daughter who just had her first baby and we're going to scrapbook once a week. So I'm really excited. I've always loved all of our paper selections, but now I'm super excited for <laughs> to use them for scrapbooking again. I haven't scrapbooked in regularly in quite a bit. I am, I have been a scrapbooker before, but haven't been for a long time. All right, so now I'm going to use this. Now we did stamp the Melon Mambo, but I wanted to use the polished pink cardstock. It all kind of coordinates together. So I'm using this polished pink cardstock. It's cut at three and three quarters by five inches. And then I'm going to put this little pit piece that I cut at two and a half by three and three quarters. And I'll just grab my little stamp and seal here. And we'll add this to the bottom. 
I had to make quite a bit of these for a swap from my team of Pink Stampers. We did a fun little holiday catalog swap, and so this was one of my cards for the swap. And I'm going to add this to a piece of our basic black cardstock. This is cut at four by five and a quarter. I use a lot of adhesive, I know. It's just what I do. Okay, I'm gonna put this on here like this. I'm gonna add it on a piece of gorgeous grape cardstock. And I'll just grab my paper trimmer. We'll just cut it right here. So I don't think I'll edit that part out, but you'll see. You'll see my changes. I wanted to add the purple in since I was using the purple hat. And I wanted, I like to pull in the colors and you'll see in just a second how I've done that with this card. Most of the time, unless it's an accent color, most of the time I try to pull in. So we're using the pink for a hat. We're using the purple. We're using the black for the tag. Okay, so there we go. So nice. Okay, so now what we're going to do, here's our tag. I'm going to take the pink hat and add some adhesive to it. So it's just going to be like this and a little bit like, like this. And then I'm going to take some of our Stampin' Dimensionals and I will add three to this hat. Okay. And I'm just going to add that right on the top. It's gonna to cover up a lot of it and it's going to go kind of like that, just like that. And now I'm going to take some of our black gingham ribbon. Let's see if I can do this while I'm filming because I get shy. My fingers get shy when I'm doing a video and they don't want to do my ribbons. So I'm just doing a simple little bow. I think I've been making ribbons like this for a long time. I've been stamping for 25 years, <laughs> long 25 years now. Okay, 24 years. All right, so I have this little bow and I'll just take my scissors, my paper snips and just snip, snip. Okay. Set that aside, set these aside. And now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take, I like to add my ribbons with a glue dot. Hopefully I have one left on this roll. I'm gonna put a glue dot on here and then I squish it. I like the glue dots for the ribbon cause I can, you know, mush them. So they're not showing there. And it fits right in that little hole right there when it kind of just stays there. Okay, so while this is turned upside down, I'm going to grab our foam adhesive strips. I'm just going to add one. And I like these uh, for bigger elements instead of my dimensionals because it's just really quick to add them on and then pull off the backing. And now I can just do this. And I have the cutest card, you guys. So adorable. Please let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Don't forget to subscribe. And you can find me and more of my other uh, projects and weekly giveaways on my website, mypinkstamper.com. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by. See you soon. Bye-bye.